From a young age, this woman that we're going to talk about today was a symbol and public figure. At 21 years old and 200 years before Italy gave women the right to vote, she earned her PhD in physics. This is the story of Laura Bossi, an Italian physicist and philosopher. My name is Danielle and I am the founder of Make Them Mainstream, helping parents and educators recruit and retain females in STEM with early STEM education. And this is Wednesday, so it's time to talk about another influential female in STEM. But don't miss tomorrow because that's Thursday and we are going to be talking about female STEM education and you aren't going to want to miss that. Laura Bossi was a remarkable child. She had the gift of intelligence, and she was often compared to Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom. She grew up in a well-off but non-noble family. Her father was a lawyer, but her mother was often sick, so she spent a lot of time in her father's study. Laura Bossi was a self-starter and eager to take any instance of education. When she was 13, the family doctor became her teacher and he taught her about philosophy and medicine. Laura Bossi was opinionated and strong-witted. Scholars would come to the Bossi house just to talk to Laura and you would often find her debating with them. Just picture the scene, 13 year old girl in a society where women are not thought of very highly debating with these scholars from all around the world, telling them, mm, no, this is right and this is why. Laura was fluent in French and Latin, as well as Newtonian and Cartesian logic. When Laura spoke in public, people from all over would come to listen to her articulate her intelligence. Laura caught the attention of many, many influential people, but one of the most influential was Cardinal Prospero Lambertini. Excuse the way I just butchered that name. He's important because he would later become Pope Benedict the 14th and he really really encouraged Laura to go after her studies. In order to get her degree, she had to undergo public examination and that meant supporting a thesis in front of a very large crowd of people. Earning this degree made her the second woman in history to earn a degree and the first woman in Europe to earn a degree in physics. Lambertini continued to support Laura and encouraged her to go after her professorship. In order to become a professor, she would have to undergo another public examination, speak in front of another group of people, and support another thesis. Like I mentioned before, her intellect drew other academics to her. Her colleagues were world-renowned scholars who respected her intelligence. One colleague said, she maintained ties with the greatest scholars of her time, from Volta to Voltaire, as well as other illustrious names of the era who, traveling through Bologna, wished to make her acquaintance. Laura Bossi was not just a physicist. She was also equally talented in Latin, logic, metaphysics, natural philosophy, algebra, geometry, Greek, and French. Laura would later convert her and her husband's home into a laboratory and an academy meant for youth. However, because of her widespread success, many scholars from all over would come to learn from her. She was also a very early proponent of Newtonian physics. This is super important because at the time, Newton's ideas were very, very controversial. Laura Bossi's mind dazzled her family, her peers, and her colleagues, and people would come all around the world just to learn from her. If you enjoyed just this very, very brief story of Laura Bossi, then you should definitely head over to makethemainstream.com for the entire article. I will put a link in the description below. If you liked this video, then I think you know what to do. And if you love this video, then please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Wednesday about influential females in STEM and every Thursday about female STEM education. Thank you for being here with me today. And until next time, happy learning.